Welcome in guys to Guardian Con 2024, where today we will show the most down bad Destiny streamer and the high jinx he got up to. This is already looking cooked. Well, let me enlighten you guys on how cooked this was because I was like, all right guys, let's go to Guardian Con and made plans in which me and Plato hopped on the plane to LAX, but it was actually MCO in Orlando. We hopped on the plane to MCO and hang out in Guardian Con. And as you guys can see, Bergsy is not on the plane. As you can see, there is a picture of Bergsy with the giant circle with the cross cut out of it because I was like, hello, Bergsy, you wanna come to Guardian Con with me and Plato? And he went, nope. He did not want to go because he hates us and doesn't like any of you. Don't blame bro. This slideshow sucks. Booger was there. Oh, well, don't worry, guys. Booger was there in spirit. Puppy, stop squeaking the toy. But we finally landed at the Holiday Inn Express and Suites where we were met with four gang members who were greeting us there for the complimentary breakfast in which we ate together for the first time. And I was like, oh my God, it's the gang clan. And then we ganged all over the place. But that was merely the start of the day. That is nothing to worry about because we haven't even gotten to the convention. Which one is you? I don't know, how about the one with my face on it, you bozo? But that's fine, because then, time for the convention. But unfortunately, in Sir Spade for luck, there was in fact a tragedy at the convention right as we stepped into the door. So, the whole reason me and Plato were like, yes, we're preparing for the convention, is because they were offering this Gambit medallion for people who, yes, it is Gambit, but let's not get it twisted, all right? This is not the Gambit you're thinking of, all right? They were offering physical here. They were offering physical gambit medallions for those who won in the game. All right. And but guess what? I sent this picture in the sync crew discord. Me at the LAN computers, about to compete with Plato and gang on my side for the open tournament. Now, if you guys want to feast your eyes on this, why is me and Plato on one team and then gang on the other team? All right, so let's keep in mind, I am in fact on the top of the leaderboard on my team. My team sold me, bro, but it didn't help that gang clan was on the other team, swapped right at the very last second and cost me my first medallion of the day. But let's not remind ourselves, I am on the top of the leaderboard. And do you know why I'm on the top of the leaderboard? Because I am in fact built different. As a matter of fact, I am so built different that when I was discussing my strategy and plans with Plato in line, I was in fact booed in real life. I was like, Oh, let me load up my Osmiomancy gloves. And they went, Osmiomancy, boo, get this guy out of here. And I was like, are you kidding me? I am getting booed in real life. I am literally getting booed in real life. This is unacceptable. And I'm in fact going to destroy this tournament, which I did not do because gang was on the other team. Lamal, the incident. Nice recap. No, it was not. Same IRL as it is online. No, it's not. It's fine. All right, whatever. I was, okay. I, <laughs> You know, it's fine. I don't need to be, I don't need it. Nothing to worry about. All right, but whatever. Get the day one gaming tragedy and I didn't get my medal. I didn't get my medal. I was defeated by the gang clan and sold by my ridiculous teammates. Whatever happens to the best of us. So then bro had green aura with flies. That literally did not happen. Okay, that, whatever. Doesn't matter, okay? Because there was hope in the world after all. All right, guys, I did in fact win a game. As you can see, it's right here. I didn't take a screenshot though, uh, because it was kind of a landslide and I was just like, it's like they were there. Like, it didn't feel earned because we literally mopped the floor with them. Like, like this game was pretty close. I don't know what the score is, but you know, you can kind of like tally it up. It's kind of close, you know, in a way. Uh, literally mopped the floor with them. Actually crazy. If Surfway said, guys, Don sold my game. Were you the stinkiest person at GCX? I was not the stinkiest person at GCX. Who smelled the worst? Surfway. All right, you're banned. Cause I took a shower and wore deodorant. I didn't do all that effort. Guys, you know what? Maybe next time I won't take a shower and wear deodorant. Then we'll talk. <laughs> All right, but that's besides the point. I won the game. I got my Gambit medallion. That's no teeth brushing stank breath. I did next time. Oh, that is a good point. There might not, there's probably like a more than likely chance that there is not a next time because he stunk up the Uber when we headed to the airport. All right, this is literally slander. I did not stink up the airport. Or I mean the Uber. I think it would be even worse if I stunk up. Puppy! All right, that's it. I'm freeing the dog. 
Be free, puppy. Be free. You got the stink cloud following you around. That is literally not true. I did not have a stink cloud following around, but that's besides the point. Okay, we won the Gambit Medallion. The Moral Stories, we won the Gambit Medallion. So then it was time to focus on the thing we were truly here for, which was my charisma. I don't know if you guys know this. I don't know if I've shared this story with you guys before, but I am charismatic and cool. I met Liam Winter before. I don't know if you guys, uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of that before, heard this story before, but I have in fact met Liam Winter before. I have a physical copy. Um, so, I was- <laughs> this story sucks. <laughs> okay, no, JC, they were not at Guardian Con. Who, who is that? No, whatever, okay. But the poor little story is I am very capable when it comes to meeting people because I am very charismatic so I can meet all the Guardians. Bro thinks he's on the team. I am on the team. There's literally a picture right here. Okay, but that's besides the point. So I, after, can you stop this story? I didn't even, I didn't even tell the story. Why are you so orange in this picture because I was heating up bro I was heating up hold on guys let's calm down all right but I am I was like all right time to enact my amazing charisma and meet everyone and I immediately after we won this Grambit medallion it was like boom guapo Gary I was like and I went up to him I went up to him I literally went oh my god there he is and I went Hello, Bergsy! Oh, you can't see it? Hold on, I went, hello, Bergsy, because as you can see, they look identical. So I was like, hello, Bergsy! How was your day? I love you, Bergsy. And then he was just not having it. <laughs> he was like, uh-uh. He just went, Bro was not having it. Bro did not like being called Bergsy and who couldn't, I could, like, who wouldn't? Who would want to be called Bergsy? That guy is a bozo. And that's Andra. But, okay, so I got a picture with Guapo Gary. Then I was like, time to flex some more. Picture with G minors. Okay, I gotta get my camera moved somewhere else. Picture with G minors. So, like, if anyone asks, G minors really likes me and definitely knows who I am. I did not take picture with minors. That is G minors. Very different. All right, this is not minors. It's G minors, the guy. All right, the dude in the hat is the best part of this. Why is Rizzy calling me? Who the fuck is G minors, bro? <laughs> bro doesn't know G minors. Okay, whatever. Did you, anyone grow up with GCX? We'll get that, we'll get there. I'm like, bro, he was giving us IRL soundboards. I did give him some IRL soundboards, but the story doesn't stop there because I was talking to G Miners being like, yo, I'm friends with you, like through the grapevine. Uh, my, my boy Kellen, I go to the gym with him all the time. He did a day one with Unknown and who's your great friend. He's like, oh yeah, bro. Are we for real? And I was like, Unknown, yeah. He's like, oh yeah, don't worry. And then blah, 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 blah. And he's like, don't worry. Don't worry, Sir Spade. I'm gonna go do something. Meet us at the Aventura rooftop bar tonight. That's where all the cool kids are gonna be hanging. Don't worry, guys. This place was the hub for Guardians. And don't get don't get it twisted by this picture. It did not look like this because there was like 6,000 more people. This seat right here where we sat at one time, there was like literally 10 people in these three seats. Actually insane. That's literally what it looked like at GCX. God, if only that's what it looked like at GCX. This had to have been the most stinky place in the whole world. They had all these guardians corralled in the heat outside. Don't worry, guys. Stop asking questions. We're going to get to it. All right. Save the questions for the end. All right. Well, you'll, we'll get to the things. All right. So G miners, G miners gave me the insight. G miners gave me the, so this guy right here, Do Pepe, G miners, world famous YouTuber. He's like, sir, Spade, meet me at the Aventura rooftop bar. That's where I'll be hanging out tonight. So I was like, don't worry. I'll be there because I'm ready to hang out with my cool pals. And then I continued, took a picture with the miner. All right. Okay. All right. Let's get this. Get this guy out of here. Okay, so <laughs> how do you not know who G Mut? Puppy! G Miners wasn't Hollywood, bro. Yeah, so there was, there was, that's another thing to bring up. There was very distinct Hollywood mentality and people who were talking to us. It was so clear that some of these people were just straight up Hollywood, did not want to hear another word out of anyone, and were just there for the big fries. But I'm like, oh my god, G Miners, and he was like chopping it up, and I'm like, this is a goat right here. That is a goat. Speaking of, oh, me and alligators. Guess what, guys? 
This comes in later into the story, but remember, if anyone asks, Alligators really likes me and definitely knows who I am. Also remember her, it'll come back around later. I got a picture with Alligators, but I don't know if you can see this. That is in fact, Zavala right there, but I was too nervous to talk to her. So I moved on. I, okay, yeah, I was popping a blood vessel. Don't worry about it. You can literally see it so hard. L picture, but you shut up. All right, but then, I signed up to play again in the Gambit Medallion Tournament. So, guess what I did? I played another match in which I met up with Ritzcar from Twitter. The Ritzcar from Redeem, he tweets every day, live long hour. Bro is constantly tweeting out stuff. And as you can tell from this scoreboard, I am in fact the GOAT again. As you can see, Sir Spade 4 with his Osmiomancy criminal Criminal uh, build, booed build, I literally get booed in real life. 43 kills, by far the top on the entire match. And I was sold by my teammates. Six kills, nine kills. How was he on the top of the leaderboard? I deserved this win. We literally lost by three points. These guys had, I am the Destiny Master. I am the Destiny Master. I should have won that game. But I lost. So I was like, whatever, Ritz car, let me get a picture. And he went, oh, he did not have it. This guy, probably Hollywood. He did not like talking to me very much. But granted, I was just going, destiny. You know, you guys know the drill. But let's carry on, all right? That is only one pit stop in the story, all right? Because the convention was ending and it was time to get in line. We were the last people in line for the meet and greet in which me, Don and Plato met Dado and Danielle. They, this guy, this, yeah, this story ends with me and Dado getting freaky because me and we were the last ones in line. He had nothing. He was forced to talk to us and was like, holy moly, I can't believe it, Sir Spade 4. You're my favorite small streamer. That's not what Plato looks like. Why are there two Dons? Two Dons, guys. Can you see the connection? Plato was so tall, he had a crouch in the pick. But don't worry, guys. It gets better. We're talking to Dado, asking him questions. I'm like, Dado, thoughts on BO6? And he's like, I can't. The Lex drama is too crazy. I can't play with the one guy, Noah J456. I'm like, I know all about the Lex drama. And then, uh, then I was like, and then we were like, what should we ask him? And they were like, Dado, you're a sneakerhead. Whose shoes are the worst? So Dado crouches down points at Plato's shoes and says, this guy's shoes stinks. And I'm like, <laughs> true, that guy's shoes do stink. Sir Spade 4, drippy shoes, lives another day. Does not get booed by Dado, but I do get booed by, what are the, yeah, he literally went, what are those, bro? You went, you saw a poo brown in the shoes. But that was epic gamer. I got him to sign my, uh, uh, uh. I got him to sign my Guardian Con badge it says it right there at the bottom dado and then on the side travel danielle i love uh, the streamers he called our shoes basic that is true but also he didn't boo our shoes which is what happened to that guy so but that's fine then it was time to meet up at the rooftop bar we realized g miners gave me the inside scoop but Glad happened to tweet out, everyone head up to the Aventura rooftop bar. This is where the fun's beginning. So I got there and look who it is. It's Nico Quesadillas, guys. And so I was like, Nico, let's take a picture. Tell him how you kissed Glad. That didn't happen. But here is a really funny story. Emmy Gorar, famous Destiny 2 streamer. She sees gang on Twitch sitting at the bar. Remember on this seat, right? Somewhere like it was either right here or right here. Here. Gang was sitting on these seats right here and Gang was talking to Emmy. Some conversation went by and Emmy was like, don't worry, Gang, I'll buy you with her credit card a drink. All right. But here's the here's the here's the crazy part. Gang is banned in the chat. She bought a banned viewer a drink. Like. How does that even happen? Bro got bought a drink even though he's banned in the chat room. Whatever. All right, gang yeah, gang got some drizz or something that I don't understand. That, yeah, he's got the ban drizz, but that doesn't matter. Do you know why? Because the next part of the night is the one we've all been waiting for. This is the one everyone's been asking about. This is the one it's all been leading to. <sighs> Ba -ba -ba -ba! Zavala! Holy moly! It's
Ethan Zavaller, the streamer we've all been waiting for. I, in fact, did make up the courage to go up to Zavaller and went, hey, let's take a picture. But then uh, we got a couple of bad angles. There was like four different people trying to get the picture. And I was like, all right, let's just uh, let's just get the picture. And like, get me out of here because I'm sweating, bro. Get me out of here. I can't be stinking up the place. Did you get her number? No. Failed the green line test. It's over. I don't even know what that means. Tell them how you needed five shots just to ask for a picture. That is true. I did need that. Can't believe I had to give you a nudge. You weren't even here yet. You're leaning into her L Riz. She's deaf leaning away from you. That is ridiculous because I am not stinky. I am cool. Everyone loves me, despite what sources may in fact say. All right, but that was clearly the peak of the night, so I went to bed. <laughs> did not, you did not see me for the rest of the day. I was gone, all right? Sir Spade 4 has left the premises, but as you guys can see, day two is ready to begin. And what's this funny little, uh, funny little medallion down there? That's not green. It's gold. They ran out of the good gold one, good green ones, and started giving out golds for the tournaments. But here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. Why was the Destiny 2 Guardian Con matches Fortnite Bed Wars? They changed it from Destiny 2 PvP to Fortnite Bed Wars. What? <laughs> But, com common search paid for W, I did in fact get one, and as you can see, I did in fact wear it around my neck. I wore it around my neck to com uh, complete my look. I was just wearing a black black tank top. I wore the Fortnite medallion around my neck the next day to really complete the look, give me some drip, and everyone loved it, despite what sources might say. Destiny 2 is dead, why would you play that? It's better than Fortnite Bed Wars, bro. Who would want to play Fortnite Bed Wars for a Gambit medallion? That pick isn't it. Gambit drip goes crazy. Now this guy gets it. That's what I've been saying this whole time, all right? But that's besides the point. So the convention was over. We then got to go to the after party where we, in fact, rode the Velasa Coaster on Universal Islands of Adventure. This is the best ride I have ever been on. As you can see, this is the only thing holding you in is a tiny little lap bar, but this thing goes upside down. Mach 10. It's crazy. Best ride of all time, bro. This is the greatest thing. Did you fall out? Almost. I almost fell out. It was kind of crazy. But here's the thing. Biggs, this is what you've been asking for. After we rode a bunch of rides, rode the Velocicoaster like three times. Bam! Firekeeper! I was like, hello, Firekeeper. It is me, Sir Spade 4. But I forgot to mention, the previous night, I was trying to look for gang member Caleb. And I was like, Caleb, where are you at? I went downstairs in the lobby. He was hanging out with Firekeeper. And then he was like, what are you doing, Sir Spade 4? And Firekeeper was standing right next to me, right next to him. And she went, Sir Spade 4? And then went, give me a hug. And I went, yes, give me a hug. And I was like, yes, someone recognized me in a way. All right, you know, my name had to be said, but it wasn't like, I wasn't really talking to her. I was talking to Caleb, but then she came and gave me a hug. Yeah, I'm so cool. But I got, and got a picture with Firekeeper that night because I was trying to rescue Caleb from whatever he was doing. But that all accumulated. We met Firekeeper. We got on one more ride. Then it was time to say, why is the second pick a creepier pick? All right. That, that. But then it was time to say goodbye to the gang clan. The gang clan, we've reunited. Also, Caleb was not in this picture. He had just left five minutes before, and I was like, wait a minute, we forgot to get a picture. But we have Plato, Dasani, we have Dawn, me, Guardian, uh, Wrath, and then uh, um, uh, Roger, who is a gazebo. Guys, I don't know if you know this, but Roger does in fact own a gazebo. It's not... Plato is so tall. Yeah, look how look how far he got. Say, look how high is Plato standing so far away? <laughs> Plato, yeah, Pl <laughs> Roger Pick is sick. Dude, guys, it's Roger in the gazebo, Dasani in the water bottle, and Plato is hiding away from us because he hates us. But there is the crew. That is the number one crew, the ones who everyone loved, standing in front of the Fantastic Four symbol for Sir Spade Four in honor of me because everything revolves around me. But then they left. The gang crew went to bed. But me and Plato still had a couple of minutes left in the in this park. So we decided to go on the Velocicoaster again. And we sprinted really fast back to the Velocicoaster, which we ran by Saltagrappa! The goat, the goat. Everyone loves him. Everyone adores him. That is Saltagopo. And I took a picture with him. Four, not for Sir Spade Four, but for four-time victory. 
That's my goat right there. If I was there, I would have been right there touching you, bruh. All right. But I got a picture with Salta Greppo and then immediately beelined it back to the Velocicoaster. Who is that? Did you cop a feel? You guys are cooked. But then we got on the Velocicoaster a couple more times and then went back home to bed. All right. It was EP time. You know, nothing to worry about. D did you brush against his meat is wild. Ban that guy. All right. But then we went back to bed. But it, again, so the con is over. The two days Guardian Con existed are over. Now it is scrounging time. It is time to put the Liam Winter training to use. Down bad exhibit A. No pics of the Holiday Inn Express is crazy. We didn't take any pictures. Oh yeah, me and Dawn and uh, Guardian and uh, Pilato did in fact go swimming in the pool with our shirts off. But it was time to put the Liam Winter training to use. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I did in fact meet Liam Winter before. All right. And so I needed to put that training to the test. I needed to go, holy moly, I know how to charismatically speak speak my way into getting some getting into to, to hang out with people that I like all right I think I can pull it off so what I did is gang can testify to this I made a notes app on my or I made a, a note sheet on my phone in which I listed out various ways to ask people to hang out in psychotic ways and that they hopes that they say yes first thing I asked so I then asked G Miners, hey G, we didn't end up seeing each other again after a quick talk at the con. Are you still hanging out around the area or are you leaving today? It would be awesome if we got to hang out a bit if we're not imposing on something you have planned if you're still here. Sorry bro, I just saw this but I'm at the airport right now. It was dope seeing you though. I have to leave early today either way. Might have to stay longer next year. Darn, can't all be winners. But at least he didn't say, never talk to me again you freak. I don't want to hear you, your voice ever again. All right, so that's a win. I'll take it. Nothing to worry about. So I was like, all right, let me, because you're 803. I then asked Mendez, 827. Hey, yo, Mendez, are you still hanging out around the area or are you leaving today? It'd be awesome if we got to hang out a bit if we weren't imposing on your plans like yesterday. Mendez then said, I'll be going to Epcot today with some homies. And then I said, it says that Epcot closes at nine. Are you going to do anything after that? And he said, probably going to the rooftop bar, then a party. As you can tell, he is talking about the Aventura rooftop bar, the one that we all know and love. All right. Right? But I was like, I'm cooked. I have no one to hang out with. But then I just started looking at the discords and then I saw my hope. Alligators, she said, come to SeaWorld. And uh, like in her general discord. And I said, yo, I know I'm not in the inner circle, but would y'all mind if I showed up to hang out with you guys there too? Sure. Yes. Holy moly. That's what I'm talking about because my Liam Winter skills paid off. Me, Gary, Gators, big time famous. I went to SeaWorld with Alligators and the Mod Squad. Bro, Rizzed Up Gary, cool pick. You know, I'm not in the inner circle, but would y'all mind if I showered at SeaWorld? I did not say that. Uh, I showed up. I did in fact say showed up. My Liam Winter skills paid off. It's like Liam Winter 2. I went to a theme park with two popular streamers and the pals. It's like, it's like basically the same thing. Oh. All right, so I Liam is smiling upon you guess because he is in fact dead We have not heard a word from him in like a thousand years, but the day was not oh Though you're gonna show up to our house next. That's what I don't okay guys. I am not creepy. I am not a stalker I simply asked to hang out and that's what really matters, all right? Because I am a sociable, very charming, charismatic person who likes hanging out with my good pals. That's definitely not parasocial, and they definitely know who I am and like me, all right? Those are true facts. They like me, they know who I am, and they want to see me again, all right? All true and real things. Did you call Gary Booger? That's another thing I forgot to mention. At, at Universal, uh, we saw Gary again, like at Hogwarts. And I was like, Gary, what's up? And he kind of turned around and went, hey, you know, what's up? And then gang slowly on my trail comes in and they go, Bergsy! And his smile from seeing me, he went, he went like this. Bergsy, or Gary, he went, uh, Bergsy! Dropped. Bro was not, he was so upset. Who would want to be called Bergsy? Can't say I blame him. Getting called Bergsy might be one of the worst things in the whole wide world. That guy is a bezo. Bro, he's telling the massive dream he had. That's literally not true. There is physical proof. I am in this picture. Why is my arm like that? I don't know. 
All right, but we move on back to the midnight bar where Mendez said he would be. Mendez! I was like, me, it's Mendez. Oh, that's another trick. That's another thing. Mendez, at the first night, I did in fact see Mendez on the bar where he in fact came up to me and said, Sir Spade, do you know who I am? And I went, no, who are you? He went, it's me, Mendez. And I went, oh my God, because I have never seen him before because he never streams with a camera on. Who is Benny Rizzing Up? I think that might be Pika. I guess that's Pika because she's wearing the same outfit, which we will get to later because I was then hanging out with Mendez. Gang, but keep in mind, gang is gone by this time. It is now just me and Plato. Plato is somewhere around here. I am now talking with Mendez, chilling. And this is where it gets crazy. I don't have physical proof of this but you guys are just gonna have to take my word for it so then we got kicked out of the bar we went downstairs everyone was chilling at a table so i just went up to mendez sat right next to him at a table with pure chill benny taylor liz pika peach the guy we met in line mendez me and then three guardians who looked popular but i didn't know who they were and then frost bolt came in later and i just <laughs> yeah the guy we met in line his name was uh sir maestro i think it was he this guy knew everyone the guy we met in line maestro he knew everyone he knows everyone bro i don't know how he does it but there's three other, there was three other guardians who definitely were someone like someone notable but i cannot tell you who is the cat that's Mendez. Mendez is a profile picture. But there was a guardian right here who was always making fun of her. And there was Lanza. It was not, I don't, Synchro might, that sounds correct. That might have been it. I don't know. But there was just a bunch of people. And we were talking. And then uh, Frostbolt came in later. But then the real business came out when Pure Chill, Benny, me, Mendez, Line Guy, we all went outside to meet with Frostbolt. And we just talked about content and how content is the way to live. And they were like, I don't care about getting good. I just want to become famous. And I'm just sitting there going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, bro. I'm all on top of that one. I love being famous. Because, guys, you stream over Blue Moon. Guys, I don't go live for uh, to get money and fame. I go live for this reason. I want clout so that people will talk to me. And I don't need to leech off them if I'm already talking to them. It's crazy how Spade is a clout chaser. It's not clout chasing if I'm just sitting. I just, my goal is to not leech off of them. It's to be one of them. I want to be one of them. I want to be, I want to be pals with everyone. I want to be like, hello, Mendez. See, because I was kind of pushing with Mendez. Mendez. You know, he came up to me and I kind of was like, okay, so he likes me, I think. So I was always talking to Mendez going, hello, hello Mendez. I think he, I was just like trying to avoid that as much as possible to know he died. Like, oh my God, I'm sick of this Sir Spade board guy. Stop talking to me. But you know, I'm, I'm like being Hollywood before your partner is crazy. I'm not Hollywood. I am a leech, but I, okay. You guys are getting, you're misinterpreting the point. I, I don't need it if I can just be pals. That's what I want it for. I want to be pals. I am not parasocial. I promise. This is not creepy. All right, guys. I did in fact meet Leah Winter. All right. And JC backfire. All right. It's fine. And they don't have a restraining order against me. All right. It's fine. It's just called being normal, being cool, which is me. It's creepy. No, it's not. Why did you pin that? All right, but that's besides the point because then once this was over, I had to go back home and now it's post-con depression. Oh, pain, sadness. No more Guardian Con because the game is dead. No more game. Don't bruh me. All right. The game is dead. No more guardians. The guardians all died. Everyone got sick or something. They're all non-existent, but it doesn't matter. Post GXX COVID and monkey pox, six different. Does anyone in gang clan have monkey pox or COVID? Cause I don't, but I did take two allergy pills because I was like sneezing or something. So that's usually a good sign. But um, the final slide of the slideshow, the moral of the story. Let me hang out with you, please, please. If you're seeing this, please let me hang out with you. If I ever see you at a con or something, please. Oh my God. I beg, I beg. I want to hang out with you so much. I please, please. I became an alcoholic after going to the ego house. Did you? That's actually so funny. It's not parasocial. All right. It's, it's fine. All right. There's nothing to worry about. It's not parasocial. Okay, guys. I cannot believe the words that came out of Caleb's mouth. I was in a call with Caleb about six hours ago in which Caleb said, if you were doing all this, why didn't you just ask to come to the, to the ego house? And I just went, 
I've been talking about the whole weekend. I want to meet people and you just didn't invite me. Why didn't you come to the Ego House? Because you just left without me. Firekeeper was there. Some other people were there. <laughs> Should have just shown up anyway. I didn't have the address. You just vanished. You was gone. You did ask me. Whatever. Yeah, but you were you were a plus one. I can't. I can, You can't ask a plus one to go somewhere. What were they gonna do when you showed up? Kick you out? I would. Okay, believe me, I would have showed up if I had the address. Caleb invited me, but I didn't know it was an open invite. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's not. That's not. I don't blame you for that. I don't blame you for that. I. That's perfectly fine. Should have just fast traveled using your ghost. Yeah, of course. All right, but that wraps up today's session of Destiny 2. If you were a fan of this all-star comedy and want to see more from me, click here to watch this video. I know you'll enjoy it.